Got a super affordable laptop as a holiday gift and want to upgrade for more storage? Replacing a small built-in SSD with something that can hold more of your digital library is a surefire way to give your laptop the boost it needs. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone and welcome to DIY in 5. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are going to walk through how to install a higher capacity PCIe NVMe SSD on a new laptop. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Most laptops nowadays are compatible with an SSD via an M.2 slot. It makes sense considering the M.2 form factor is so much smaller since manufacturers are prioritizing portability. Before you buy anything, however, check your laptop's model and make sure that it allows for a PCIe NVMe SSD upgrade. There are lots of YouTube videos out there that you can find to check your laptop's available form factors. Once you know your laptop can support this type of drive, it's time to get shopping. Two great options we'll use for the purposes of this video are the Kingston A2000 and the KC2000. Both are super fast with quick loading times, low power consumption, and low heat. The A2000 is more entry level with capacities up to one terabyte, and the KC2000 is the higher end option using the latest Gen 3 controller and is available in capacities up to two terabytes. Then you'll need a PCIe NVMe SSD enclosure from Amazon. Be sure you're getting an enclosure that is compatible with your specific drive. Both the drives we have here use the M.2 2280 form factor, so we have an enclosure that's compatible to do our business. Next, we're going to open the enclosure, slide the drive into the slot, and secure it with a screw. We put the enclosure back together and are now ready to clone our current laptop's drive to the new SSD. Kingston products come with a Cronus True Image software that makes backing up your drive, cloning your operating system, or restoring data from a previous backup super simple. After you've downloaded and installed the Acronis software, you'll need to activate and register the software. Then connect your Kingston SSD to your system and launch the Acronis software. Click on Clone Disk. Select the automatic method and the source and destination disks that you want to clone from and to respectively. Confirm that everything looks correct in the summary screen, then click Proceed. A notification will then appear letting you know that it's time to restart your computer. Click Restart when you're ready and the data transfer operation will begin. When complete, the computer will shut down. While the computer is shut down, it's time to open your laptop, find and remove the old drive, and install your new SSD. Each laptop's different, but this should be simple to find. Boot up your brand new super fast laptop and voila, all set. As a bonus, if the drive you removed was the same form factor, you can simply place it into the enclosure you just used, wipe the drive, and you now have a spare SSD external drive. Now that you have a shiny new SSD in your sped up laptop, let us know what other tech questions DIY in 5 can tackle for you in a future episode. Leave your topic ideas in the comments below, and while you've got tech on the brain, be sure to check out some of these other DIY in 5 videos.